this week's safety toolbox is on what am I doing? We have a lot of veteran tradesmen out there, plumbers, electricians, iron workers, cement finishers, carpenters, laborers. Guys, what are we doing today? Are we multitasking today? Do we start off doing one task and we end up doing 16 different tasks in the same day? We start off each day with the safety huddle in the morning. Typically your superintendent, five, seven minutes is going through a checklist of some sort, talking about wearing your PPE, talking about looking at your tools, talking about operating equipment, our means and methods. This is all a benefit to you and to all of us watching this video. It could be the most important part of the entire day. What am I doing today? Look at what you've chose to do for a living. So let's start with our safety talk. Are you involved? Are you thinking about the task at hand that you've been assigned today? You get in the gang box, you grab a skill saw, a sawzaw, maybe some hand tools, a couple of extension cords, you run off to your work zone, do you bother taking a look at any of that stuff to see if the guards are still on it? If the electrical assembly is good on it? Are you doing an inspection of your tools? Your tools can get you hurt. For those of you that are assigned to operate a bobcat, a boom lift, a scissors lift, a lull, a suspended swing stage on the side of a building, are you taking a look at your equipments? Are you doing a general inspection of the equipments that you're operating? Low-hanging fruit here, lulls. Why are you not wearing your seatbelt when you're operating on this terrain that could be uneven or not even level? And for you guys in boom lifts and scissors lifts, are you looking at the terrain that you're going to traverse to? These are the hazards associated with your means and methods. Your tools, your cords should be inspected. Any piece of equipment that you're operating, you're supposed to be certified, right? Through your employer or through your union, you are not supposed to be on a scissors lift, a boom lift, a supported or a suspended scaffold system, a lull, a bobcat, without certification to operate these pieces of equipment. Are you certified? Because if you're not, you need to be. The minute that something goes wrong and we're all sitting together in court, that's going to come up as a question. Has your employer failed you? Are they not training you? Each of us comes to work in a healthy state of mind. We've chose to do construction for our careers. There are so many hazards associated with what we're doing every day because our tasks do change every day. So stop, think, take a hard look at what you're doing, try and engineer out any exposures related to what you have to do. So let's think about that this week. Let's have a safe week. Thank you.